I decided to then uh, activate block C theme and as I exit the customized area I see uh, thanks for installing block C rock and it also asked me if I want to install a uh, block C companion so why do you need block C companion let's check out what that is so first of all I see it does not open in a new tab okay that's fine I just gotta remember to head back with the uh, browser so there's by installing blocks and companion all access to status sites library more header builder features extensions ecosystem performance options better releases and more features as they show up so I will just press the back button and I will install it and see what shows up okay so it's showed up and here it asks me if I can just kinda track some of the things that I am doing um, diagnostic tracking with Freemius um, sure why not okay so we have a Bloxy area over here with uh, a Bloxy screens here there's some customized sh shortcuts that have been added to the customized area and here it also says a support tick or join the Facebook community starter sites I can choose uh, to download one of the starter sites from there and just continue to modify one of those or just start fresh uh, as I believe I will do extensions so this looks like uh, like extra uh, plugins that I can add so I will need a cookies consent uh, plugin or extension activate it and newsletter subscribe maybe I can activate that too to see what it is here it asks me if, uh, if it's MailChimp or something else so I will skip that for now product reviews if I want to do that or trending posts display a trending list of posts or custom post type the bottom of your website sure we'll just look at that and here I can add extra widgets to for instance the sidebar and but I'll just keep with those two and also says there's a little dot here with an eye with a it says after installing active cookies consent extension you will be able to configure it from the location of the customizer and cookies consent so I know that both of these or actually both of these I assume also this has to do with the trending posts even if there's no I there or I here or I there that I can then modify this uh, in the customizer so here it mentions useful plugins I might, I've heard of Stackable, got my plugs, and we'll just install that as well. That should then be installed as a regular plugin through the plugin screen. And there's also various other plugins here that I will not install right now. Change log really just kind of shows the overview over changes that have been made. And there's a free versus pro which kind of lists up the features of both to see what they contain so right now I will go back into the customizer I will go into the menu I will create a new menu I will call it primary or I could call it top menu I'll call it primary and I will do header menu one we'll see where that goes and next I will add then the menus or items I want in the home or I actually have front and I will add a blog about page and then for now contact 
also tutorials page contact and let's add also the tutorials page I'll add it next to the blog and I will publish and I see then the various links up in the top going to front page to see what it looks like and here is then the cookie consent um, extension I can adjust this and here we also have the trending now so both of these can then be, um, be modified in the customized uh, section so we had the blog area and this can be modified tutorials page and this is something I need to take care of in relation to my custom post types about and I need some information in here and also information in the contact form so this is then part two of looking at uh, the block C theme and I see there's a activation email for block C campaign uh, companion so I then need to activate that through my email and I'll do that in just a moment